Hello everyone. You are welcome to few core mathematics. We have 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x equals 12. I need you to sit back and learn because we are going to solve this into detail. Now we have 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x, right? Okay, from the look of things, we should be able to know that no whole number will give us um, 2 of here in place of x. But then let's solve it. We have the same base, pick one of them, we have x plus x. What should I do? Equate it to 12. Now we add the powers so that we can have 3. We have 3 to the power of 2x, which is equal to 12. At this point, we cannot express 12 to have 3 as the base. But we can decide to take the log of both sides. So we take log 3 to the power of 2x, which is equal to log 12. Okay? And then from here, what again do we do? The powers here can always go behind to multiply the whole thing. So we have 2x multiplied by log. <coughs> we have um, 2x multiplied by log 3. So this is equal to log 12. Now what can I do from here? Divide both sides by log 3. Then divide this by log 3. This is going with this. So that 2x is equal to log 12 over log 3. And then mind you that we can simplify this. Do not divide this and get log 4. That would be wrong. So 2x from here is equal to log log um, 3 multiplied by 4 over log 3. Now, if you have to multiply like this, it means that you're having log 3 plus log 4. So we are having 2x that is equal to log 3 plus log 4. Okay, so what are we saying? We are saying that log 3 plus log 4 is equal to log 12. Now, what do I do? Let's split this. So we have 2x that is equal to log 3 over log 3 plus log 4 over log 3. Okay, so this is what we have. So that this can go with this. And now 2x is equal to 1 plus log 3. Okay, that's log 4. Log 4 over log 3. Log 4 over log 3. So from here, we can apply change of base. So we have 2x equal to 1 plus log 4. Then we have this 3 as the base. This is not the end because we have to make um, we have to make um, 2x the subject, right? We have to make 2 to remove 2 from here so that we can make x the subject. Okay, so we divide this by 2 and then we divide the whole of this by 2. This will go with this, and then x is equal to 1 plus log 4 to base 3, everything over 2. Now we can equally decide to rearrange, so we get x to be equal to 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 4 to base 3. So this becomes the value of x that should satisfy the equation. 
and I can equally go ahead and factorize so that 1 over 2 can come out as the common factor. So x will be equal to 1 over 2 into 1 plus log um, 4 to base 3. So this becomes the value of x. Okay, like we've always done, let's confirm our answer. We have 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x to give 12, right? Now, our x, this is x. So we have 3 to the power of 1 over 2 into 1 plus log 4 to base 3. Then multiply by the same 3 to the power of 1 over 2 from bracket 1 plus log 4 to base 3, then we close this. So do you think the whole of this will give us 12 on the right hand side? Let's try. Now I'm going to deal with this because whatever I have here now is the same value I have here. So I'll deal with this alone. We have 3 to the power of 1 over 2, if I open the bracket, then plus 1 over 2 log 4 to base 3. Remember, all of these are the powers, right? Or is the power, as the case may be. Now we have 3 to the power of 1 over 2, then multiply by 3 to the power of 1 over 2 log 4 to base 3. This is because since we are adding the powers, it means we multiply it so that if the bases are the same, you pick one of them and you can add the powers to get this back. So from here we have 3 to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by this right here, 1 over 2 here is the power of 4. So we have 3 to the power of log. Now, if you have 4 to the power of 1 over 2, it means that you're having square root of 4. Then we have base 3. Now, log to base 3 and this base can cancel. So we're having 3 to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by square root of 4. So that at the end of the day, we are having square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 4 and that will give us square root of 12. But mind you, this is just for this value. So I'm going to get this and it will give me the same value. So this means we're having square root of 12 multiplied by square root of um, 12. Since both of them is 3 to power x times 3 to power x, the same value. And then this will give us square root of 144 and square root of 144 is 12. And then it is the same 12 that we had on the right hand side of the equation. So this is to confirm that our x is truly equal to 1 over 2 <clears throat> into 1 plus log. x is 1 over 2 into 1 plus log 4 to base 3. Thank you for watching. If you love this, subscribe to my channel and keep liking the video.